Hi, I'm Brent. Today I've got a video update on the Nissan Pulsar DIT range of engines. Now this engine is the 1.6 twin cam turbo engine which comes out in the Duke as well as the Pulsar Triple S and a few of the other Pulsar ranges both in four wheel drive and front wheel drive models. And what we've found over the uh, period of time that we've had this particular car in our fleet of R&D vehicles is um, the huge misinformation that's out there in the internet of people seeking the holy grail of increased performance from modifying exhaust systems to putting modified air intakes, bigger intercoolers and all sorts of stuff. But ultimately at the end of the day, it gets down to how good the tune is in the factory ECU using aftermarket um, so tuning software related specifically to the capacity of the turbo to pump more air through the engine, i.e. boost. Now, these engines come with a very, very small turbo, but an incredibly compact boost control system, very similar to what Nissan used in the Nissan R35 GDR. And if you don't understand how to get the most out of this particular part um, fitted to this engine in this car, then you'll never get the reliability or the performance that you'll come to expect. And today I'm gonna to talk about what you can and can't expect when it comes to the exhaust system. Now, um, you can see in the engine bay here, we'll just refresh ourselves, we've got the factory recirculating blow valve which has been released, replaced with the GFB adjustable one on this particular car. It's got the original factory front mount intercooler down tucked inside here. Um, the engine is obviously covered normally by a plastic garnish to make it look a little bit better, but effectively everything else on this car is relatively standard, except I'll show you in the still, video, still photos attached to the bottom of this video, are a modified front engine pipe that we've test fitted on this particular car to do some more R&D to reinforce the fact that the exhaust system modifications on this car really are not worth the money it costs to gain maybe one or one and a half PSI of increased boost. And this dyno graph is testament to that. And you'll see very small change at the front end of the car coming on boost with the torque graph, but effectively the power graph overlays itself. And I'll take a still photo of this as well, just so you can have a closer look at it. So what we've done on this particular car is deleted one of the catalytic converters, which has had a huge increase in flow by reducing and releasing some of the back pressure associated with um, catalytic, factory catalytic converters. The car still has an original cat as well, but one of them has been deleted. Um, and then we've gone and done a back-to-back -back custom tune, and that dyno graph is the result. Now, if we had to completely replace the whole exhaust system, ultimately, the result is exactly the same and in fact this is what we tested several years ago when this car first came out and there's been some people on the internet that thinks by putting three inch exhaust systems or modified air intakes are going to give some miraculous increase in performance. Well I'm sorry to say the facts are that they still don't get any huge increase in power and performance as long as you start with a good quality tune to start with. Now if you've got a tune that is not that good and then you go and put a big exhaust system on the car then chances are that may give you an increase in performance. But if you get a good tune in the first place, you can save yourself all the money and the pain of putting parts on your car that you really don't need. Now, if you want to put a modified air intake on it because you think it looks cool or you want the air intake noise, that's fantastic. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to put a modified exhaust system on the car because you want to sound differently or you want it to um, look a little bit different at the back, that's fine as well. But don't get falling into the trap of putting these parts on your car for the sake of it and then being disappointed if you don't get the increase in performance that you're hoping for. So there you have it, a few more tips and traps to help you understand a little bit more about your uh, Nissan Pulsar engine. Um, intercooler will result in the same outcome. At the end of the day, the turbo from a summary point of view is so small, there's not a lot of capacity to increase the massive boost to take advantage of increased flow associated with larger exhaust systems. Hope this has helped you no matter where you are in the world. Um, my name is Brett Middleton. You can contact us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to our new website and put a search in there for the year, make, and model of the car. You'll find some fantastic listings to thousands of parts that have now listed on our online website. And of course, you can have a look at the links at the bottom here to our many other um, videos associated with this car or check out the playlist where they're all grouped together. But for now, thanks for watching.